once you've conquered the basic machines in Railcraft, we can then move on to the solid and liquid fireboxes and steam boilers. So how do they work? Well, this is the most basic, a solid fueled firebox with a low pressure steam boiler tank. So it can be a one by one firebox on the bottom and a low uh, pressure steam boiler on the top. We right click it. We can see a lot going on in here. So let's look at one in use. Well, we're pumping in water and we're burning the coal and the heat is basically generating steam and it gets hotter over time. So I'm pumping it in with mechanism pipes. Where do you pump it into? Well, you pump it into the um, actual tank at the top. You do not pump in water into the firebox. Now you can also make high pressure. So low pressure make 10 millibuckets of steam per tick, whereas high pressure make 20. What's the difference? One uses steel plates and one uses um, iron plates, meaning that the low pressure are cheaper. Your mod pack may vary, of course. One little tip for infinite water, if you're in a mod pack with the Cooking for Blockheads mod, absolutely use it. It's the best way to get water um, in most mod packs. But Railcraft doesn't really add like stuff that's going to let you do this. You are going to need other mods with Railcraft in order to get the water in, etc. So what we can also do is make a 2 by 2 fueled firebox. Now, you can actually have different sized um, boiler tanks, depending on how big your firebox is. A one by one firebox can have a one by one tank. If you make a two by two firebox, you can have a two by three boiler tank. But I can also just knock off the top bit and just have a two by two if I want. I'm just showing you the maximum sizes here. So I can add on, um, for example, one, two, three, and four, and that is the maximum size. You can also make a three by three solid fueled firebox which allows you to have a one two three four so a three by four boiler tank and of course this is going to store a lot more steam etc now there's also the liquid fueled um fluid fueled firebox and rather than taking um just water and coal this will take creosote so the same way that you're pumping in water into the boiler tank you could just pump in creosote as well and it will burn the creosote to heat the water to make steam so it's up to you which one you go for but that is how you use the fireboxes and boiler tanks in railcraft reborn then we want to turn that steam into energy before we get any further i want to let you know that i'm partnering up with g portal here to give you 10 percent off your first month with them they do all sorts of Minecraft servers, whether you want modded, spigot, sponge, anything you want. And you can swap out not just Minecraft, but any game on your server at the click of a button with GameCloud. Meaning the possibilities are endless. Again, check out the link in the description so you can get some money off with code Javier. So once you've started making steam, we actually need to use that steam. So what I've got here is a steam oven and a steam turbine, both doing different things. The steam oven is made from steam oven bricks. Uh, just two by two, like that. There you go, very simple. And you go into it, you put items in here, and it cooks them up. So let's see. We can turn, um, well, dusts into ingots, ores into ingots. But obviously it's got a huge input here, so it can do tons all at once in the big old oven. It's actually a really great way at mass processing ores. Fairly early game. We also have the steam turbine. So you just simply make steam turbine housing, and that is a two by three. So one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Okay. Right click it, and you need to put a rotor, a turbine rotor inside in the rotor slot. Output, um, you know, and usage, the steam usage is how much steam is it using, and output is how much electricity it's making. Because the steam turbine actually makes energy. Now, one thing it will also do, by the way, is it will output water at the bottom. Not a lot of water, as you can see here, but what I would recommend doing is piping the water back into your boiler to obviously make that back into steam. It's not a one-to-one -one process, so you will still need to generate water elsewhere. However, it still means we're going to get some water back from our steam while producing energy. Um, and you must pull out the water from the bottom of the tank. You can attach any kind of energy block next to it. I've attached a mechanism energy cube. And as you can see, we've been making a little bit of energy very slowly with our steam turbine. 
Thanks for watching, and before you go, I just want to say, if you want to join the Patreon in the description, that really helps support the channel, and you get access to our premium servers like this one here, which is currently ATM 10 at the time of filming. Of course, if you're watching a year after posting, it could be ATM 11, 12, or even maybe 13. We also do offer free-to-play servers, which you could just join the Discord to get, and if you'd like your own server, then check out the description for our G Portal 10% off with my link. Lastly, if you're new here, don't forget to check out the channel. I have an insane amount of mods available. As you can see, loads of tech mod guides, magic mod guides, utility mod guides. There is literally hundreds of guides that I have done. My goal here is to do every single mod in Minecraft.